Oh my God, it's finally here. It's finally here. Cole, where is it? What, the DYU? Yeah. Follow me. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay, so you may have seen the other video where I attempted to intro the fact that I bought the cheapest electric bike I could find online and um, it actually didn't turn up. This isn't the bike. <laughs> I knew it. Check out the link here if you want to see what other e-rides I rode instead. Finally, it has arrived. This is the DYU D3F and this is £449. Like I said, it's the cheapest I could find. And of course, I wanted to order it in and check it out because we've got to test these things out. Yes, we do have the Windgoo B9, which is a mere £400. However, that's not really an electric bike because there aren't any pedals. So this is the cheapest e-bike I can find. Can an electric bike that is this cheap actually be any good? We just need to appreciate firstly how small it is. I'm five foot ten, so this could be interesting to say the least. Naturally, um, I've done a bit of a silly today and I've worn my platformed Doc Martens. So, get a closer look. Don't know if you can see those. Am I going to be able to ride this? Yeah. Right, scrap this. It is terrible weather. The camera is soaked before I can even get started. Let's try take two in much nicer weather. Can this little baby handle the big boy roads? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> oh, it's glorious out here. Bearing in mind a standard electric bike that I would ride usually has around 45 Newton meters of torque. This has a whopping 10 Newton meters. <laughs> But to be fair, start pedalling and away we go. Bye, Carl. <laughs> to make sure that this is road legal, I have disconnected the throttle. So this is all pedal power as I ride along public roads. It does mean, however, that you don't get that extra oomph of power when you set off at the traffic lights. You need to really pedal a little bit. So it's lacking that oomph. Speaking of which, let's try it out. Mm, come on. Oh, not the quickest start in the world, but it soon picks up power. Look, watch me go. Woo! And these 14 inch wheels, they are soaking up the worst of the potholes that I'm going over. It's very bouncy. And the seat as well is really padded. So it's all just very comfortable. I am very, very, what's the word? I'm surprisingly, what's the expression? <laughs> I'm pleasantly surprised. Bearing in mind, this is 17 kilograms, so it's a bit of a dead weight. So trying to get that start without the assistance of a throttle and just the pedaling, that's why it can be a little bit uh, weighty in the pedals. But once you've got the speed, you're flying. Cole can't keep up with me. Can you? No. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I've got big trucks behind me. Ah! We're going on to cycle <laughs> Jesus, that's a big lorry coming up behind us. Christ! And there's a car that's just in the bike lane. Very standard position. Run it, bickering! For unassuming drivers. I can't believe I'm doing this right now. Guys, how ridiculous do I look? Drop me a comment down below. You're ridiculous! Drag race! <laughs> God damn it, I nearly had him. I think this bike definitely performs at its best when you've got the throttle involved as well. But I can really see this being a wicked use case for anybody that just wants to nip around town, who isn't too terrified of getting up and close with vans and buses and coaches on something so small like this. But again, if you've got good cycle lanes where you live, why not use this? It's just over 400 quid. Apparently with this, you can have a rider height of between four foot 11 or six foot one. Like I said earlier, I'm five foot 10. Very comfortable. My knees aren't up to my chest like I thought they might be. I'm not wearing my Doc Martens anymore, so that helps. But with my Doc Martens, I was at about six foot six one with them, but I was still riding it fine. So this is a bike for a very diverse range of heights, which is not really the case with a lot of electric bikes. There's a lot of single frame bikes, which only cater to a smaller, range of rider height you can just buy this and go unless you're not like obscenely tall <laughs> well god damn quit horsing around for a here second it's the e-horse uh the horse the horsey 
Anyway, make sure you get yourself subscribed to the Electricity Heads channel. Uh, the Electro Heads channel. And if you had any real guts in you, you'd head over to our members page and become a member. Do it, or the e-horse here's gonna get you while you sleep. Legends have it, it don't take so well to people watching who ain't actually subscribed. So like and subscribe now and check out our online store at the link below. Till next time, you good for nothing son of a gun. Uh, ah! Apparently, range wise, this can hit between 30 and 37 miles. Now, I'm not really going to be testing this. This does feel like it's just a good little run around. Just use it when you need, charge it up when you get back, make sure to unplug it so that you're not overcharging. But speaking of overcharging, you'd think for something that costs so cheap, it wouldn't have a battery management system. You might have seen in the papers, there's been few fires from unregulated, cheap, rubbish batteries. DYU have made sure that they put in the proper safety features so that your battery doesn't go awry, like some of the other cheaper ones that people will obviously try and buy because that's what people can afford. So DYU, they've made sure that this is affordable, but also safe. And that is a huge, huge, huge big tick from us here at Electroheads. Safety is paramount. We don't want battery fires happening. We don't want cheap, rubbish batteries to be the standard that people think that these things run off because this is when they get banned and misinformation is out there because not all electric bikes, not all electric scooters are creating fires. It's only the ones that just don't have the proper, proper safety regulations. Rant over. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. Do you agree? Do you disagree? It's a hot debate. We'd love to hear your thoughts. By the way, guys, if you're interested in getting a DYU D3F, well, we actually have an affiliate code. So if you want to get the best deal that's out there, make sure to hit the link in the description below. Right, I'm going to go in. I just want to let everyone in the office know how in love I am <laughs> with this, it's so good. Come on, let's go inside and get dry. Ugh. Hello, little one. Hello. You guys, I'm so impressed with this. It's 440 pounds, right? It's 440 quid and it's like, it's a decent bike. It truly is. I actually think it's quite a good little swap in for an electric scooter. Yeah, but it's, it's not as cool as an electric scooter. So we've just grabbed an electric scooter. We've got the Navi N65, I think it is. Just yep. to make a little comparison. They actually match each other quite nicely. They do, don't they? So are you saying you prefer to ride this? I mean, I am a bike girl at heart, so... But this is really pushing the definition of bike. It's yeah. all subjective. I mean, it's got a chain. It's got yeah. a... It's got pedals. It's got handles. Yeah. It's got, It's you know, it's got all the mechanisms that a bike would have. It's got a bell. It's got a bell. So there are people, oh, hello, Bob. So this is, wind, which wind goo is this? That's the B20. So this one is foldable. This is where I think it makes loads of sense because it is a lot more compact than an electric scooter. You can fold it away into a pretty small form factor, probably carry it because it's like super light as well. And this one is really, like that's tiny in comparison to this one, isn't it? Yeah, it hey, is Lish, a you're like, smaller. You're about eight foot tall. What, so should I go on the wind goo? I already feel, look, my knee is hitting the cruise control. These, these do not, go with the whole look. It's a bit harsh. Right, Richard's preparing himself to actually give this little e-bike a test ride. Right, come on then. Tell me what you think. Oh my God. <laughs> nice socks, Richard. Thanks. Double yellow. It's quite hard to stay upright at low speed. <laughs> you still got the kickstand down. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Hello. Come on, Rich, first impressions. Um, it's it a bit me. wobbly. <laughs> Scooter safety. What do you look like on these, Elif? See, that is like, there's a wider stance there with the arms. My arms are reaching way forward. It feels feels more bikey than that one, just feeling like a little little toy that you can jump on. Yeah, sure. And what about this one over here? Oh, the that's wind... kind of similar, right? Yeah, and this one, is way smaller. Yeah, this folds. Although I have to say, my knees are sort of near the handlebars. Yeah, but that's because you're a giant. <laughs> You're massive. <laughs> okay, this definitely beats the uh, the DYU in terms of storage. Yeah. And it does it does feel smaller, but you it know looks, it's... it looks a bit more like a bike. Yeah, I exactly. <laughs> I feel like so people are watching this video. What do they want to get from this? People want to see me riding the cheapest e-bike I could find on the market. It's definitely a lot of fun. It's definitely a lot more robust than I thought it was going to be. We have very similar options on our store, electroheads.com. Make sure to go check it out because we've got loads of wicked e-rides on there. That's a really good entry into e-mobility for people that are maybe a little bit unsure about what they want in the long term. Don't necessarily want to spend like two grand on an e-bike. Might not feel comfortable with a scooter as a form factor. Yeah, I think it just goes to show that smaller e-rides like this, there is a market for it. People are intrigued 
intrigued by it, whether or not they're clicking on it because they want to have a laugh or whether or not they really do want to go and buy one of these things. They're popular and I think we need to see more of them on our streets. They are accessible because they are cheap and they're really good fun. Anyway, that's my very quick roundup of some cheap, small e-rides that we have here in the office currently. I would love to hear what you guys think about them. Let me know down in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and let us know what you'd like us to review. And I think I'm just gonna scoot off to finish this. Bye.